So welcome to another installment of Riptide Fisherman. Uh, we're actually switching it up today. We're going to do some crabbing instead of fishing. So uh, we came out here on the local Bonnie Ghoul dock. It's it's a public dock, but it's one of the few ones here in the area that you actually have to have a license and everything to, to crab from and to fish from. So we're out here. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what we can do. The weather's pretty nice. It's a little chilly, but we're going to give it a shot anyways, and hopefully we get some crab out of it. We got a assortment of baits. We got a carcass of a lingcod that we caught a couple weeks ago. We got some red tails that we caught a couple days ago. We got some anchovies, some squid. Maybe we're gonna soak some baits on some lines. So we're gonna see what we can catch. And uh, we'll see you soon. You know when you're tying off to the dock? Easy one to do. Just go like that a few times. And then you're tied off. It's good. It's good. That's a, this wing cod carcass and a couple of red tail carcasses. So yeah, when you're when you're going fishing, if you uh, if you want to do some crabbing and get into it, after you fillet the fish, always keep the bodies, always keep everything, because all this is great crab bait. I mean, this is all we use. A lot of people go out and they'll buy uh, they'll buy chicken and different stuff, but fish is where it's at. And I also like to wear gloves, that way uh, you don't get your hands all smelly and weird all day. So all these crab pots come with a bait holder right here on the bottom. All you're going to do is you're going to take your fish, slide it right into the hole, and it's inside the bait holder. That's all you have to do, get a couple pieces in there. I like to make sure to get a lot, that way the crabs don't just uh, take your bait and take off, you know? After you're all in, you want to put the pot and you're going to drop it off the side. And now you're crabbing. All you have to do is wait 15 minutes, pull it up, and check it. And we'll be there soon. Well, it's been 15 minutes, we're going to check the crab pots now. Get up to seven inches from the carapace. So when you're out crabbing, you should always have caliper. Sometimes they come with a clam gauge. Uh, if you ever go clamming, so you just measure from in the middle right here. This. Not the points, but in between to each side. So this one is about six, six inches across. This one's definitely a keeper. Red rock crabs have to be four, four, four inches. But that one's good. And that one's good too, but since it only has the one claw, we're definitely not going to keep it. There's no point in uh, wasting it, so we'll send it back for another day. Yeah, you just throw everything back. Um, for red rock crab, you can keep 35 crabs per person per day. And uh, with Dungeness crab, you can keep 10 per day. But Dungeness have to be five and three quarter inches to keep. These only have to be four. And these are just as good as Dungeness, in my opinion. All right, back in the water. Are you waiting for your 15 minutes to come by? Uh, we usually go fishing. Just out here with this giant shark pole. It's got a six ounce weight. This current's pretty strong. Um, and I got my little tiny, tiny ultra light pole with a really small hook and trying to catch light bait for him.
So it's been 15 minutes and we're gonna try pulling pots again and see what we got. So here's another oh. species right here. This is a regular rock crab. Okay, it's a rock crab. <laughs> um, here's another red rock crab. That's uh, definitely a keeper. And there, it's a male too. This is the male. That's how you tell right here on the bottom. So we're gonna keep that one. Back down it goes. Here's another species of crab out here. This is the Dungeness crab. This is what people buy at the store for like 10 pounds a, or $10 a pound. But this one's definitely too small. I just wanted to show you it. So that's a Dungeness crab. It's a rock crab. You can tell mostly because of these big giant claws that they have. A lot of power behind those claws. There's a lot of meat in them too. A lot of people will eat these and really like them, but I, I don't care for the meat too much. It's a little stringy. How to grab these guys. Well, he's not as feisty as the other ones, but you can just grab him right here at the bottom. Hold him like this. The claws can never reach you right here. So here's a female. She's got some eggs growing. We like releasing females so we can carry on catching these guys in the future. Wrapping up here at Bonnie Ghoul. This is the nice dock we fished at over here. Uh, we had we had a couple good sized crabs. We had one one seven seven inch carapace crab. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here and we're gonna go cook some crab up. Have a crab dinner. Yeah. So that was uh, our next episode of Riptide Fisherman. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you then. Hey. Okay, we're not gonna say that. What the hell was that? <laughs>